I'll show you how to use the white prawn from 8K Marine. It comes in this little yellow box. The stuff is absolutely brilliant. What we require is one prawn, our 10 red bait holder hook, our sinker, and of course our swivel. The trace length is between 40 and 50 centimeters in length. If you want to see how this trace was made, look at our previous one where we used a cracker. So basically what I'm going to do is take our prawn, cut him down the center, we split him open and as we split him open we try and take the shell off. There's the head part. Over there. Just breaking the shell as we're doing this. And then from the inside. And you can see it's a very for, um, firm prawn. It doesn't just fall apart. Okay, there it is there. What I like to do is our chock hammer, the big side of the chock hammer, just lightly hit it, just to soften it up a bit, because they are very, very firm, and just releases all the oils in the actual thing. The head part has got a lot of juice in it at the same time. I'm just going to try and take that out. And just hit that in as well. It just gives off more smell in the bait. And like I say, it's very light. What you can do is just take it like so. Take him around. Thin latex cotton, very, very important for this. We start wrapping it. And I do use quite a bit of latex cotton. There we go. Nice long thin bait. And that's basically what the, the bait looks like. If you wanted to, and there were a lot of peckers around, little Tobies and that, you could add another one. But generally one should be more than enough when fishing for a grunter. And this is what the trace looks like when it's completed. The sinker is slightly longer. And the reason being is when the grunter pulls, you want to pull against the grunter and not against your sinker. You can use grapnels or weed eaters where the grunter actually hooks himself if you want. But I prefer cone sinkers. I like my bait to move around a bit. So I'll throw onto a bank like this, if this was your bank. Throw onto the bank start over here, pull it off into the trough, especially on the incoming tide, because there will be a lot of more white water in this vicinity. Throw there, so I cover the bank as much as possible. Then I start throwing over onto the back part of it. The reason being is, if there's a grunter swimming along or a pompano swimming along, you don't want to scare the shoal that's over on this side. So if your first throw is over there, and there's a whole lot of grunter here, you hook your grunter and you pull him this way, what it does is actually scares the grunter that are feeding on the inside of the trough. You don't want to do that. You want to try and catch the fish that are on the inside and then work your way outwards. Okay, so that's just a little bit of information for the guys that like catching a lot of grunter. When the tide starts going out, however, you'll find that there's more movement on this side of the actual bank, churning sand, and the grunter tend to feed on the front side of this bank here when the tide basically starts going out. Okay guys.